these waves, called sound waves, are what makes hearing possible. Sound waves enter the outer ear and travel through a thin tube called the ear canal. At the end of the ear canal is a thin layer of skin called the ear drum, which is what makes hearing possible. When sound waves hit the ear drum, it vibrates, much like a real drum. The ear drum is the gateway to the middle ear. The middle ear is comprised of three tiny bones. The hammer, the anvil, and the stirrup. Okay, take note that regarding the three smallest bones in our body. When the ear drum shakes, it causes the first tiny bone to move. This bone, shaped like a hammer, is called the hammer. The hammer taps against the second bone, called the anvil. Every time the anvil is struck, it sends these vibrations to the third bone, the stirrup which is what makes hearing possible. The stirrup is connected by a thin tissue to the inner ear. Your inner ear contains a swirled up tube called the cochlea. Inside this snail shell shaped organ are several nerve endings. When the stirrup rattles in front of your cochlea, it causes the liquid inside your cochlea to vibrate. These vibrations are picked up by nerve endings and turned into electrical impulses. Those impulses will race up your auditory nerve and connect to your brain. In a process which is not clearly understood, the brain is capable of interpreting the qualities of the sound upon perception of these electric nerve impulses. That's why you listen to your music class, where all those little bones and organs inside your ear are working all the time. Sound na 
nagagaling sa lapas. Nagkukos na dumadaan sa lahat ng parts ng, ng ear. Good. The Good. stairs is that the stir up shape small bone of ossicle in the middle ear, which is attached to the incodosta medial joint to the incus laterally and to the fenestra ovalis, the oval window, literally states means stir up in Latin. Yun yung pinapalo nung ano, nung pangang para dumain yung sound, then dadaan siya dun sa ano, sa osikil na ano, para maling natin yung sound. A semicircular is a one of the semicircular and interconnected is located inside each ear. The three canals are horizontal and semicircular. A semicircular the passive sensation no? or it deals with sense of balance. Yun nga lang, nandun sa cochlea yung organ of corte with which that is the most important part in understanding sounds together with the basilar membrane. Okay, go on. Okay, go on, start. The round window is one of two openings into the inner ear. It is closed off from the middle ear by the round window membrane, which vibrates with of the opposite face to vibrations centering the inner ear through the oval window. It allows fluid in the cochlea to move, which in turn ensures that hair cells of the membrane will, will be stimulated and that condition will occur. Okay, so for example, children who are infected with meningitis, no? So yung sinasabi po natin, hair cells na yan in the basilar membrane, pag infected po sila doon, nagiging bone yun. So in short, it will result to what? Hearing impaired. So nagiging deaf sila. Okay, go on. Wala naman. Hmm. 
So, yung topic na to, no, dalawang senses yan, sense of hearing and passive sensation. So, yung sinasabing vestibule, again, that is the parts of the vesticular sensation. We have semicircular canal, utricle, and the so-called subcube. Okay, go on. The vestibule is the central part of the osseous labyrinth and is situated medial to the tympanic cavity behind the cochlea and in front of the semicircular canal. Yun yung, yung vestibule, yun yung central part ng ating tenga na kung saan mag, magkalapit sila ng semicircular canal na ay focus ng pandinig natin para makamitin tayo. The Eustachian tube is also auditory tube of parenchyma panic tube is a tube that links the nasopharynx to the middle ear. It is a part of the middle ear. In adult humans, the Eustachian tube is approximately 35 mm long. It is named after the 16th century anatomist, Bartolomeo Eustachian. Some modern medical books call this the parenchyma panic tube. Okay, so since I've been not regarding with the Eustachian tube, it is connected from our nasal. It is about nasal regarding with our nose and our throat. Kaya nga, di ba, pag may sipon tayo, pag may ubo, may sipon. Pag nag-overflow yung plema, especially regarding with children, nagkakarasin lang ng otitis media. Lumalabas sa tenga, nagiging luga. Or for example, if we need to pinch our nose, Diba? Close your mouth, for example. We're able to feel that air pressure sa tenga natin. Kaya minsan, diba, pag nasasamid din tayo, no? Minsan may kanin na lumalabas sa ilong. Okay? That is, yes, kasi nga, it is connected with what? Eustachian tube. Okay, go on. Wala na, ma'am. Wala na? Okay, pakibalik mo nga yung passive sensation. Regarding with the new partner. Ma'am, harap sa kami na, ma'am. Ma'am, harap sa kami Okay, so again, no? this is how the, the uh, sound bubbles are here from the outer or the so called the pina. No, it's just having put uh, side mirror. Nyo. Okay, so this, uh, this is the pina. The function of this one is what? To catch sound waves. So try to imagine without your side mirror. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is so after that one, it will travel into our what? Auditory canal or the external meatus. Kung saan doon tayo nagtatanggal ng dumi. So we have earwax. Okay? Another one from this external meatus, it will go to what? Eardrum or the so-called tympanic membrane. So it will vibrate into what? Saan ba vibrate? It goes with the middle ear. So, then don't be smallest bone in our body. We have the what? Hammer. We have the hammer down to the infos and down to the staves or the so called syrups. So, regarding with this class, possible title is inner ear. This one is the inner ear, deals with the passive sensation or sense of balance. So, we have very got the semicircular canal. The vestibular portion, so it goes with the sacral and the so-called utricle. Okay? So sometimes if the fluid inside the cochlea, inside this what? Semicircular canal, hindi po siya masyadong na balance, it can create what? Motion sickness. Okay? So kaya kamisa na yung kilo tayo. So again, may mga fluid dyan, no? So again, in this function class, it's balance lang wala sa kiri. So one of the 